Oh, sorry. Oh, 不要眼睛，要跟他们玩。哎，我还不能站在中间，他那个很很光。Yes, sir. Okay. Also, it's my pleasure to introduce Yunnan Li. He will talk about extension of permanent social basis from algebra to its shrinking free financial algebra. Thank the coaching seminar for providing me such a great opportunity to communicate with all of you. And uh, the talk, the, uh, the topic of my talk is uh, about the construction of free differential uh, algebra over algebras via the method of global shift basis. And uh, this is the joint work with Professor Li Guo. And first, is, this is a, a sketch. Uh, we clicked, skip it. Then first, uh, uh, we introduced the background. The differential algebra was are usually defined for commutative algebras and fields. And the uh, free differential algebra means the polynomial algebra over differential variables. Then in the recent years, this tra traditional framework has been extended in two directions. One removes the commutativity condition to include a large class of Lie algebra structures, uh, such as differential Lie algebras or class algebras. Then secondly, the Leibniz rule of differential operators can be generalized to include the difference operator of this form, then leading to the notion of differential algebras of arbitrary rate. And further, as the left adjoint functor of the forgotten functor from the category of differential algebras to the set of, of algebras, the free differential algebra generated by an algebra can be defined. And uh, we expect the properties similar to the usual differential algebras over sets uh, still hold. But however, at this time, uh, such free objects are only expressed as a, a differential quotient modulo a large differential ideal via the universal algebra consideration. Uh, so it is desirable to give the, their explicit construction writing a canonical basis of it. Uh, for this, we adopt the method of global social basis. Then in the 1960s, uh, Bookberg provided an algorithmic approach for the global basis. This is the classical for the commutative algebras. Then, as their differential counterpart, uh, characteristic sets are commonly used. Then, furthermore, the theory of differential global basis was developed by Kevin Farrell and Mansfield, etc. To work in broader context, uh, we want a framework of global social basis for differential algebras. In fact, there have been several studies where the global social basis on structures related to differential algebra. Uh, for example, the operated differential algebras, especially the differential robust algebras, uh, the integral differential algebras, and the differential type algebra. If that makes sense. But it is still challenging to express, uh, to establish the differential global basis for any differential ideals in the classical setting, namely the commutative case of weight zero. Then our goal is to pursue the direction in the non-classical settings and uh, gain further understanding in the classical one with our current work as the special case. Uh, in this talk, we start with the notion of global Shinshock basis in the free differential algebras over sets. Then show that uh, a the global Shinshock basis of an algebra indeed can differentiate, extend to one for the its free differential algebras, but except for the classical case, that is the differential commutative case of weight zero. So we suggest that the GS theory in the non-classical setting maybe is nicer than the classical one. Okay, then we begin with the 
And then uh, first uh, we record some nota notations and definitions. A uh, differential algebra is just an associative algebra with a differential operator or called derivation, satisfying the following liability rules. Then a differential algebra we say here is just means a land commutative uh, differential algebra of weight lambda. In particular, if uh, the associative algebra R is unital, then we further require the differential operator uh, act on a uh, vanished uh, unit. Then the differential ideal is just an algebraic ideal. Okay. Well, my question is so, uh, is it true that a lot of people usually call difference algebra is yeah. lambda equals one, right? Uh, no? No, no, it's the arbitrary rate. Yeah, but in fact, uh, oh. you can rescale it in the land zero case, it's just uh, isomorphic to the weight one. Oh, may, may, may I rephrase my question? So if I consider just rational functions yeah. with uh, d acting as a shift, yeah. will be lambda uh, shift by one? Yeah. Will lambda be equal to one? Uh, yeah, so that, that shift operator is high, has weight one as well. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, exactly, okay. Just, just to connect to <laughs> things. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Then the uh, differential yeah, ideal. The shift operator is not a derivation. It's not, uh, but it's, it's also not a derivation. So it's, it has a, has a weight. Yeah, it I know it has a weight, has a weight but, but did you see, you can take lambda equals zero in a derivation. Yes, in and if you take lambda right? equals one, you take a uh, difference. No, because, no, because, that's, that's what the because, speak because you still have the first two terms. Pardon? No, if, if lambda is equal to one, right, yes. then I, I have the third term. Right? Yeah, so but, it's so term, but, but you, what about the first two terms? Um, no, 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 so, so, so you can expand the brackets. So that's two different, two, that's two definitions. So we are talking two definitions. <laughs> right, right. So it, it, it's up to our translation. Well, what, what is the different algebra? It's a homomorphism, right? I mean, the, 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 the operator is not homomorphism. Wait, I'm talking about shift. Yeah, the different the, operator is yeah. homomorphism, right? No, no, no if you take like f of x plus 1 minus f of x. Like like delta, like you know. Oh 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 oh! oh, oh. You're talking yeah, about the quotient, the the different quotient, different quotient, different quotient, different quotient in a in a analytic yeah. sense. Okay, so yeah. so, so <laughs> but you missed the quotient because it happened to be one. The, the denominator happened to be one. Yes, yes, okay, exactly. Right. That's, that's, and that's fine. Yeah. That's why I'm asking about lambda equals one. Okay, okay. So I I thought you meant different algebra. No? You said true. different quotient. There are two notions of difference yeah. open here. <laughs> okay. okay. So, uh, differential ideal is an uh, algebraic ideal closed under the action of differential operator. Then we can talk about the uh, differential ideal generated by any subset with this simple presentation. Then first, uh, we record uh, three differential algebras over sets. It's just uh, a differential algebra. Uh, with an extra set map satisfying the Excuse following. Me, but are you now assuming lambda is zero? Uh, no, arbitrary. Lambda is still arbitrary, right? Yeah, arbitrary. arbitrary. So, yeah. so by the word differential algebra, you mean this? Uh, uh, yeah, we mean arbitrary rate. If we okay. were without the, the okay. emphasis. Okay. <laughs> right, without connectivity, yeah. without. Okay, it's not coming to Yeah. Okay. Then uh, the universal property. Just given by uh, if we give any differential algebra R with a map from a, the set X to it, then there exists a unique differential algebra map. Let the uh, commutative diagram hold. Then they are still uh, they also have the uh, commutative counterpart, just with the similar universal property, but uh, with all maps. Uh, become the commutative algebra maps or differential commutative algebra maps. Then what about the construction of about these uh, three differential objects? Indeed, uh, you can have a very uh, easy construction. Uh, using the set delta x of differential variables, then we can give both the land commutative and the commutative uh, construction. As the free algebra generated by this data x. 
Then, more generally, uh, we discuss the three differential algebras over algebras. It's defined similar to the case over sets, but with all the uh, maps replaced by algebra maps, not just the set maps. So it's very, quite similar. And we use the, uh, a new notation, the D lambda A and the C D lambda A for both cases. Okay, then for our later discussion, we need a simpler presentation of these three objects. As we say that uh, in the some reference, it gave it defined these three objects uh, via a very a, a differential quotient modulo a very large ideal. Then we want to improve this. So we, in in fact, if the original algebra A has the presentation, then we can be induced. We can induce a presentation for its free differential algebra, and uh, the commutative case it also holds. Then, okay, then we can uh, turn to the notion of global essential basis first for associative algebra, then for the version of three differential algebras. Uh, so yeah, so you interrupt a bit. So I think our goal is to have a explicit construction of this free, this new free differential algebra, generated by algebra. Right? If it's generated by set, then they are just the differential polynomials. That's mm -hmm. very clear. But if the generating is not a uh, generating object, it's not set, it's an algebra, then so far all we know is a quotient. You know, so then we don't know, you know what are exactly the elements in there, for example, if there is basis. Um, so that's, that's the purpose. So we want to have a basis that we can compute with so that they are probably comparable to the classical different free differential. Uh, I'm not guessing yeah. what the difficult, what, what, what the issues. The, the issue is that the generating object is an algebra. Yeah, and uh, it's a set. Right. It is a set. Oh, it is a set, yeah. But that's just you know, some relations. You don't know what, what to do with the Exactly. Relations. So you don't know. So when you pick up two elements, you don't know if they are same or not. Right? So you don't know how to multiply them. Um, so then if you consider free differential algebra on that, then it's even wor worse. But right? if you give it an algebra, uh, you're supposed to know how to multiply them, right? So it's, you know, it's part of the structure. Yeah, that, that's, 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 that's the idea. So, so now that if we start with the assumption that uh, we know how to multiply in this algebra, can we do the same for the differential algebra generated by this? So that's, that's kind of purpose of this, uh, this, this talk, so uh, of this paper. So we'll see that uh, in the non collective case, you know, non-commutative or non-zero weight, um, it's, uh, it can be done all the way through. But in the classical case, when it's very zero, commutative, it becomes very tricky. So even if you know perfectly well how to multiply in the algebra, if you extend to differential algebra, it becomes kind of tricky. So, so it's kind of your, your, uh, you want to give an explicit description of, a zero, of an ideal generated by zero order uh, yeah, it, 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 it's yeah, it is like that. Different right. right. yeah. right. 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 that, that's yeah, that's I think exactly yeah. Right. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me just first briefly introduce the uh, GS spaces for associated algebra. Uh, it depends on the free monoid uh, semi-group generated by set X and uh, monomial order. And uh, also, we have the free commutative monoid and the semi group on this X, but with the different notation. Then, the a global essential basis in this free algebra generated by X is just a subset of, mono, uh, of a molic poly, polynomials whose intersection and the including compositions are trivial moduli. And uh, we will give a, a more explicit definition of global essential basis in the differential algebra case later. Let me, but could you go back, let me see, intersection, intersection of, of, of what? Of intersection composition, <laughs> and uh, including composition, there are two kinds of compositions. But in, intersection is defined on, on polynomials? Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which no, case, no, those, uh, those are the S polynomials. 
Yeah, ah, yes, yeah. so intersection is as analog of S bernanos. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, I see. I just wanted to imagine the intersection of bernanos. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and uh, the polynomials are all in this free algebra. Hmm? Then uh, there's a, a well known CD lemma for the associative algebras. You just uh, give two equivalent conditions for a uh, molecular set to be a global social basis in the free algebra. And in particular, it provides a linear basis called the set of S irreducible words for the quotient. Uh, modulo the ideal generated by this problem, which is basis S. Then what about the differential part? Uh, then we, we should first define the global essential basis in three differential algebras over sets. And uh, as we say, the three differential algebras over sets can be constructed by the set delta x. Is a, a set of differential variables. So we should first give a monomial order on the free monoid generated by this data x. Then uh, the order we use are the, are the simple degree lexicography order. That means that we first compare two words in the m data x by length, then lexicographically. So by the way, you are okay. uh, you are not expecting your basis to be finite, are you? No, that's it's no, probably not. not. Yeah. yeah. And then we, we use a, a a little bit technical notation. This s delta x star. In general. In general. Yeah. It means that uh, it is uh, a a word with two sides, uh, a monomial mol in m delta x, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the middle is uh, just an extra symbol star. Then a U word is just uh, in, uh, replace the star, the symbol star with uh, polynomial U. Then it becomes a, a polynomial in this K data X. And, uh, and uh, given a uh, given algebra, in case of ideal, um, aren't you expecting uh, the problem of finding your basis to be undecidable? Um, this algebra, you mean uh, from Hamiltonian algebra, uh, associative algebra? So the one that you, you, know, you want to generate uh, your thing on. So you, you say you cannot find the. So you're working on finding the differential ideal. In, in that sense, right. when you're given an algebra, you know, that, that's right. Aren't you expecting that problem to be in general undecidable? Um, well, actually, um, at the end, the end result is that uh, in the kind of uh, non classical case, they are completely decidable in a kind of trivial way. But uh, in the classical case, you know, maybe community way zero, then it's, it's more complicated. complicated. <laughs> okay. Right. And then we'll see some examples. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then we, under this monomial order, we can define the leading term of a polynomial, its leading coefficients, and also the molec polynomials uh, obtained from F by dividing the leading coefficient of Then uh, it's similar to the associated algebra case, then for the global social basis in three differential algebras over set, we uh, also have two kind of compositions to consider. One is intersection composition, and the other is including composition. But the more complicated is that now the compositions involve the differential operators. It's dxi and the dxj. Then uh, using these two kinds of composition, we can define the, uh, a set, a subset in the k data x. What, is, what, what do you mean? Uh, what, does it mean by a, a differential global social basis? It just means that uh, any two polynomials in this S, uh, its composition should be trivial modulo uh, this set S uh, by this meaning. Then uh, to 
derive the C dilemma for differential algebras, we first uh, should confer, uh, focus on the leading term and the leading coefficients of any differential words. And this is the result. Now it's in the uh, land commutative case, and uh, it depends on whether the weight is zero or not. That means uh, another the the the, the commutative counterpart have the different results. Then the C dilemma for differential algebra also give two equivalent conditions for the Molex subset S to be a global Schinshaw basis in this K data X. And in particular we give the linear basis of this uh, differential quotient just modulo the differential ideal generated by this global social basis S. And we use the notation uh, D irreducible to denote this uh, linear basis. Then uh, we turn to the differential comparative case. It's quite similar, but uh, to uh, modify the monomial order on the free commutative monoid or semi group on this delta x. Then again, we have the leading, co uh, leading term and the leading coefficient, also the molecular polynomials. Then this time the, the leading term and the leading coefficients of any differential words uh, changed. Now for the class some a somewhat classical case that is commutative and uh, of weight zero, its co uh, its coefficient its leading coefficient becomes more complicated. It depends on the the word u one to u r. Uh, and then similar, now in the commutative case, the including compositions in fact appear as a special pattern of the intersection compositions. So for the commutative case, there are only uh, we only should consider the intersection composition is okay. Then to define the differential global Schinshaw basis. And the C dilemma for the differential commutative algebras is still quite similar. Okay, then we have enough uh, preparation, and we can give our first main result about the extension of global Schinshaw basis for differential algebras. Uh, indeed. There is a, a natural algebra embedding from the free algebra generated by x to the free differential algebra generated by delta, uh, generated by x. Just uh, map any element x to its uh, x zero bracket. Then we show that for any algebra a is the presentation, the defining ideal is uh, it should be I A, then generated by a global social basis S, then from this global social basis S in the KX, we just uh, using this lateral algebra embedding to give a the image inside this K data X, then we will show that it is a global social basis in K data X for arbitrary weight lambda. Now it's the lambda case. So it's a differential global social basis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how to prove this result? In fact, by the previous lemma about leading term and the leading coefficients of differential words, we need to check the following compositions of these forms. Uh, when the weight lambda is lambda zero, then there are two uh, 
kind of compositions. Uh, it's just the intersection composition and the including composition. <laughs> then for the weight uh, to be zero, it's similar, but it's a little bit more tricky here. Then uh, after a straightforward computation, we show that all these compositions involved are trivial modulo S, so, uh, S hat. So this S hat is just a differential global residual basis in K delta X. Okay, then we, uh, the extension works for the land cumulative case of arbitrary weight lambda. Excuse me, what, what does the, uh, uh. Upper, the superscript zero mean? Oh, okay, so, sorry. Uh, maybe I should, I should write. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, it's just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. It's a differential variable. Okay. Uh, okay. Then, Then, uh, using the C dilemma, we can provide a linear basis of the three differential algebras over algebras. But uh, first, uh, uh, give a notation x uh, n square bracket. This is just describes the the leading term of a differential word uh, d x n. If I just just this one. So this is using a very particular or well ordering that you choose, right? Yeah. Right. So you do, you do not allow other you use other well ordering, then what happens? Or is there any other ones? Uh you mean by if you use another monomial order? Yeah. Is there oh. another one? <laughs> no, yeah. maybe, maybe is that uh English. That the leading team will all yeah, be, well, be different. different. Yeah, right. I understand. Yeah. But so so that's why I said, I mean, this is only for a very particular kind of ordering that we find. Yeah, but uh, if it's this a monomial, that is okay. Not necessarily the degree less property order. Yeah. But it should satisfy the property of monomial order. Just like the... Yeah, no, I know. But yeah. then, then you don't know what the... Uh, mm -hmm. Then you don't know what the basis looks like. Uh, maybe, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because the, the degree less copy one is more... Uh, Common use. So my question is, is there other ones? <laughs> Not yet. Is there <laughs> is there another one? Well, in the commuter case, uh, uh, is that some kind of oh, in commuter case, there has to be the there's some classification yeah. results. Um, I don't know. Is Karaparov mentioned something? Mm -hmm. Different. Yeah. Farrow is not talking about Gorbachev's basis. But, uh, but he's talking about the order, monomial order. It's called the turn, turn order. Is that the same definition? <laughs> you? No, I don't think so. No, no, I mean, uh, it's monomial. It's monomial. the turn ordering in his paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's quite similar to this uh, monomial order in the data X, uh, the M data X. It's quite similar. Then the C dilemma in, uh, indicates the, there is an a explicit linear basis, just a set of differential S hat irreducible elements, but now we describe it, the monomials uh, just, uh, just indivisible by this S n square bracket. And this S is just the leading term of, polo of polynomials in the global situation basis S. It's not divisible. Uh, yeah, indivisible. Indivisible. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is wrong. It's indivisible. <laughs> Maybe it changed many times and. Oh, 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 you take those away. Yeah. And so, also here it's indivisible. Yeah. Because it's uh, non equal.
And uh, for the community so, version, so do you have a way to, to test, if I give you an X, to test that uh, it is reputable? Um, yeah, this is the way. Yeah, so. Yeah. You should uh, check that if it have a subword of this form. Ah, oh, okay, great. So if I have no the no no subword of this form, that means I will just go. Okay. Yeah, suppose it, you, what you already know what happened on the base edge, right? So then you just uh, use the same set. Okay. Right. Yeah. okay. Uh, then the community version is more tricky, as we say, it only holds uh, when the weight lambda is lambda zero. Otherwise, it may fail, and we will give some positive example and a counter example later. Oh, here, sorry, <laughs> I. Then for this commutative case of weight lambda zero, the compositions are are uh, still quite simple. It's similar as the previous non commutative case. Just have uh, two same integer n. And then uh, using a similar notation, there's x, uh, flag x, n square bracket to describe the, 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 the leading term of differential words. Then we can give the uh, linear basis of this free differential commutative algebra over A. Oh, sorry, it's all wrong. I don't know why. Yeah. So I think that the, to start with is to take a complement of this. Uh, <laughs> it should be n mid. It's a, it's a, it's a complement of this. Yeah. I think I think I, I just have to write type why this becomes wrong. <laughs> And now you can see, because it's a commutative case, now it's just a one-side modification. And the non-commutative case is two-side modification. Right. Okay, then we talk, uh, give some words about the classical commutative case of weight zero. Then the extension of global essential cases, uh, it cannot be determined in general. It is uh, maybe none, uh, did not exist. Uh, uh, maybe it's not for this order. Yeah, for this, for, for this, for this order. Yeah, maybe you can uh, further extension. Yeah, you can further you can add more composition into it. And uh, why? Because now it appears. Uh, the foreign form of compositions is more complicated. Now it's indexed by two different integers, m and n. And in general, it's, it's hard to uh, determine whether it is trivial or not. And uh, some, in fact, it is, sometimes it's trivial, and sometimes it's not, uh, by our examples later. OK, then we started some concrete examples. Oh, without. First, we give a positive ex example for this classical commut commutative case of weight zero. It's just a, a, the, the original algebra is just a, a polynomial algebra with three variables, but and also a one linear relation. Then uh, we can show that is is three differential commutative algebra. Uh, of arbitrary rate can have an induced global essential basis from the original one, just uh, the S hat. And uh, then by the city lemma, what, what, yeah. is, what is delta sum f comma zero? Uh, delta, what, what do you mean? Current delta. Current delta. Oh, 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 current delta. Okay, all right, all right. Then uh, by the city lemma, we divide the, the uh, d differential irreducible words as the linear basis. Then, in fact, for this uh, for this example, this C D lambda a is just uh, the three different algebras uh, generated by the two variables. And what does the true? Uh, I just need if you have just not 
in a linear thing with constant coefficients. Like this, this was yeah, suppose yeah. Okay. okay, this is uh, possible, but but this is more is quite special. Indeed, this relation is just a linear relation. But if the relation become more complicated, then in general it, it fails. <laughs> Okay, then uh, the next example is about three differential algebras over one variable algebra. Uh, this is the, a more complicated example. It, in, uh, though the original algebra is just a very simple algebra, the algebra of dual numbers, it just have uh, uh, one, variable, one generator and a relation x squared. But this x squared is not linear now, right? This relation is not linear now. And then uh, we show that when weight is non-zero, then the extension works. But uh, for the uh, weight zero case, we will show that it fails. And uh, for this example, the, the set of differential irreducible words can have a more explicit description. Then why the uh, weight Lambda is zero. Then this case is fails, uh, fails because uh, we can find the uh, following non-trivial composition. Do you remember that uh, the, this is a new composition missing in other cases, the non commutative case and the uh, weight non-zero case. It did not appear this composition. Uh, this WMN here, this WMN is M and N different. Then it becomes more complicated. It's in, in the middle term. Yeah. It's the middle. yeah. Um, this WMA is just the, the leading term of this. And this, they are equal, the leading term. And this is just the composition uh, of this x0 square and itself with respect to this W21. Then by uh, just by definition, we check that this is uh, this composition is non-trivial. So the S hat is not yet a global Shishaw basis in this K that lines. We still need to further extend. So maybe should should uh, put this x one qubit power into this uh, S hat, but it's still not enough. In fact, so we. we so it's not easy to see what to, what more to add in. So yeah, we still don't know how to extend the uh, global yeah. social basis right. so in this example. But I think there is like a different ordering. Uh, like I, I think there, there is a result yeah. that you use like degree of x ordering, then x squared itself is differential Gordon basis of, 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 of this idea. Yeah, it's for this one. For this one, yes. It's from the. It's from the. Yeah. It's for differential case or. Yeah, differential. For for this for the classical case like weight zero. Oh yeah 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 of course the classical case of course the x squared so it's already a global. No no, 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 no,
And I, I don't know whether there's a formal work and talking about these three different sizes, but that's generally yeah, the And uh, uh, another example it, it is... Characteristics that method depends very heavily that when you differentiate, uh, it becomes pseudo-linear in, in the leading derivative. That's the main reason for the characteristic set. And here, uh, I don't believe that you have that. Well, you know, for, for, for the difference case, there is some characteristic set approach, and it doesn't become linear. But it doesn't concern the ideal, right? It, well, right. but there is something you can do with it. Yeah, there's something you can do, that's true. Well, yeah. also, it's, 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 <laughs> well uh, at least you can decide uh, like, like, if, if this thing is trivial or not. Yes, that's mm -hmm. true. Something you can do without it. Yeah. 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 But from this uh, uh, approach, you see that uh, in the difference case, it can be also very simple in this. Approachable in this uh, from with this uh, approach, yeah, ah. right, yeah. So you think this will be great for the difference case? It could be, yeah, it could be, it could be, it could be, it could be great for the difference case. Then you resolve how now Shannon starts here. No, I haven't considered that. Yeah, yes, yes. And uh, here is another context example. It's also very simple. It's just uh, the group algebra of cyclic group of all the n. Then it also, the extension of global social basis only works when lambda is lambda zero. But uh, when lambda is zero, we again have, uh, uh, we can find a lambda trivial composition. This lambda trivial composition just uh, equal to x. Uh, one bracket, which mean, means that if we join this element into this S hat, uh, it becomes a global social basis indeed. And uh, all differential variables vanish in its quotient. So it means that, uh, that the three com uh, differential commutative algebras over this group algebra is just trivial, just trivial, with zero differential operator. That's very special. Yeah. Indeed, in it's uh, for, for any finite competitive group. It's group algebra is generated of uh, true three differential competitive algebra. It's a more, more general set. Uh, we can oh, show this. If the things work for lambda, not yeah. zero, yeah. can you take a limit? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> because <it's, laughs> I don't think so. so apparently, the yeah. limit. Yes, you uh, cannot degenerate, right? Yeah. It doesn't. Come. I mean, in differential algebra, it does. Yeah. Right? You mean in calculus? You mean yeah, calculus? yeah, in calculus, right? Yeah. In calculus, calculus the, the, uh, different quotient uh, limit case, uh, yeah. when lambda goes to zero, it becomes the, the usual case, right? Yeah, that has condition on the function. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, of course, there's some analysis when you keep doing it. Right. <laughs> Uh, then in the end uh, we we can we construct a free differential Lie algebra on the Lie algebra. Uh, in terms of the free differential algebra over its universal algebra. This uh, this serves as another kind of example using our main theorem. Uh, it's well known that uh, uh, Lie algebra G you can define the universal enveloping algebra. But uh, what is the universal enveloping differential algebra? It's just uh, uh, talking uh, all maps, all the algebra maps become the diff. Oh no, it's just yeah, it's, it looks like this. And it's just uh, all associative algebra maps they become the different algebra maps. Yeah. The original U G is the associative algebra. Now the the D lambda G it becomes a differential algebra. Uh, then, for this definition, this universal enveloping differential algebra, it, it, it seems quite strange, but uh, in fact, it's just uh, the free differential algebra generated by the, 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 the universal enveloping algebra. It's just the same, the same thing. Look at this. So, if we turn back to our, our framework here, just the three differential algebras generated by algebras. 
Okay, then we can talk about the GIS spaces for this universal enveloping differential algebra from the algebra. Uh, and uh, uh, got the, the classical PBW theorem using the global residual basis. And then we do the extension using our main theorem. It should be checked that the main theorem works for this case. But oh, no, now it's, uh, it of course works because it's non committed the case. <laughs> so it's no problem. <laughs> Then uh, <coughs> you can further define the differential Lie algebra of arbitrary weight lambda. It means that uh, now becomes a Lie algebra with a differential operator or, or direction satisfying the Leibniz rule, but with the multiplication becomes the Lie bracket. Then uh, we can also talk about its free objects. And uh, defined it uh, as previously, but uh, with uh, satisfying the universal property with all the the algebra maps that become the Lie algebra maps. Then, what's the relation of this free differential Lie algebra on a algebra uh, on a Lie algebra and uh, its universal enveloping differential algebra? On this Lie algebra, in fact, uh, the, the the free differential Lie algebra is just a, a sub Lie algebra inside this universal local differential algebra. Uh, we we finally just proved this one, and it becomes a, a, a generalizing result of the the classical one that the, the free Lie algebra generated by a set X is just the Lie sub algebra of the free algebra generated by X. Now it just moved to the uh, differential picture. Then uh, in the end we give some we, we want to further consider consider the, these following questions. Uh, indeed, the, the global social basis in the free differential algebras, uh, especially in the land uh, classical case, uh, should need further study it. Uh, it's not enough, just because now we're just doing the very special condition instead of the extension from the original algebra to the differential one. But there are another problems can be considered. And uh, uh, this is, um, I think it's more, more, more difficult is uh, discuss the global social basis in this. Uh, free differential Lie algebras, we are the classical maybe the Shish of uh, algorithm, the Lie, uh, the global Shish of basis for the Lie algebras, and uh, also for the the classical case. Now we still don't know how to extend the uh, global Shish of basis uh, to their free uh, differential commutative algebras of weight zero. And uh, we, we want uh, uh, an algorithm just uh, like the classical Bergbox algorithm, the global basis for commutative algebras. And uh, there's also uh, another kind of problem that uh, we find in the paper of Poinsha, that the Wolfkin envelope of uh, the algebra is a uh, a free object in the category of differential commutative algebras, and uh, indeed is a way of weight zero. Uh, but uh, the, the aspect of its global social basis, in fact, is unknown and uh, is beyond our framework of extension of global social basis. Because the, the differ differential ideal uh, it gives is just uh, uh, beyond the, 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 the zero level. It becomes uh, the differential ideal should be defined by some some differential variables x uh, bracket and the n is uh, larger than zero, so it's not just the extent from the original algebra. It's beyond our framework, and we still uh, want to consider 
what is global Shisha open source? And this is the reference. Thank you. So about the lambda, the weight, and the commutativity. So there are four cases, right? Yeah. Mentioned three only, is that right? Um, no. For the land commutative case, it is combined. Combined. Yeah, it's combined. combined. So it's, it's a low problem. No problem. <laughs> yeah, for our extension. Right. Okay. For our yeah, extension. So for, for lambda non zero, but commutative. Yeah. yeah. It's also a low problem, problem yeah. for our extension. Right. Yeah. Only the classical case, it becomes very tricky. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you understood the. Uh, this uh, chain, the pair of chain, the two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, because you mean <laughs> you, you recommend me have reference in one page, oh, not too many. Yes. So I, I just choose some. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It should be have the, the, the chain and bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen the uh, the papers by uh, Lewandowski and Laskal about uh -huh. this uh, difference, difference algebra? Because what they do, they somehow reduce sort of grubman basis question for difference algebra to mm -hmm. grubman basis question in uh, commutative difference algebra to grubman basis question in free associative algebra without any difference structure. They have some, some, mm -hmm. so, so, some correspondence, I think. Oh, okay, so I mean going backwards? So I think, I think they, uh, under certain assumptions, they go in both directions. I, 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 I'm not, remember, don't remember exactly, okay. but that, that could, yeah. be, could be a related thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, I'd like to see the paper. So, yeah, 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 you can send it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still can, cannot figure out what's the relation of uh, the, the, the global social basis of differential, differential algebra defined here and uh, the, the classical. The, the original uh, differential global basis due to Kevin Farrell. It seems quite similar. The order is quite similar, but, but the, the final <laughs> definition I still cannot understand more. So is there a similar thing uh, being under study for rotor vector algebra? Free rotor vector algebra over algebra? Uh, actually, I tried. I tried. Mm -hmm. I tried the extension, but uh, it's a, a little bit cheaper. <laughs> Because the road back data, yeah, because the road back the algebra is more rigid. And the so, extension in fact is not that we, we have this rich uh, situation here. It's just so, so that, that actually that serves as like a motivation for this yeah. study. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like what it's like in my paper with uh, with Bill. Right. So that free road back algebra is generated by IT. Yeah, it's already and then you can use the shuffle product. Right, 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 right. So it's, it's no problem there. Yeah, and uh, if the, the so original. Did, but did you do this also for differential type algebra too? So, well, in, 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 our, in our paper, we consider the just a differential type algebra. We don't consider the ideals in those different types of algebra. Ah, okay. So it's, very, uh, it's not more like we work on the free operated algebra. Then consider the probability of being there. Ah. Then show that the idea of, idea of it defining differential type, it has probability. Yeah. Now, the, the <coughs> another question is why are we interested in free differential algebra over, let's say, algebra? algebra. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> or a group algebra. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. gave an example. Oh, or group algebra. Well, because it's simpler, so yeah. Right? It's more you have basis uh, clearly. It's, basis. it's more easy to be compute for this example. Yeah. So, so we and then we, the, you can see we only choose the, the original algebra. It's a polynomial algebra with one variable right. and, right. and, and yeah. also by order zero. Yeah. yeah. Because, because the original algebra doesn't have a de uh, differential. Structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We should uh, extend from uh, usual associative algebra right. with yeah. no differential structure. Ah, right. Or you can say it with with trivial differential structure. It's just a right. zero differential. Right. So so I I mean um, can I ask a question about what I talked to you about earlier? Yeah. Okay. So what is so that? um so the 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 extension usually uh, let's say in, in the 
Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, in ordinary algebra, for example, right now, so you have a, you have a ring A, and uh, you have John X.